Hi, I'm Joanna from Joanna Grace Yoga. Today we're going to do an all levels yoga flow, hips and hamstrings. If you're an absolute newbie or beginner, please check a different video, beginner friendly one, that will be a little bit more explanatory in the poses. Today I'm not going to explain the poses in great detail. We're just going to flow, meditate, and really just kind of open the hips and move that energy along. But before we get started, I really want to mention the adorable tank top you will be seeing in this practice. It's from shop.goldenratiotarot.com. I just got a whole bunch of new clothes from this high vibrational company. They are environmentally friendly clothes, which I absolutely love. Uh, here is a picture right now. So mine says, has a Gemini symbol in the middle. Can't quite see it in the picture, but it is super cute, great quality, and I'm so excited to share that company. So check it out, shot.goldenratiotarot.com. Let's get started. We're going to begin an easy pose, sitting directly on the mat or on a pair of blocks. Most importantly, we want to sit up nice and tall with the spine straight. You can rest your hands right on your thighs, close your eyes, and start to breathe in and out the nose. Try to keep the breath, the inhale, and the exhale even. And the bandhas, or the lower belly, and the pelvic floor muscles pulled in. Let's stay here and tune into the body. And just set an intention for your practice today. Alright, you can take your left fingertips on the floor next to you. Reach the right arm up to the sky and over. Stretching the right side body. Keeping the chest open. And then exhale, bring the arm down. Inhale, the left arm rises. As we side bend towards the right. Exhale, center, inhale, right arm up to the sky, side bending one more time. Breathing into that right rib cage. Exhale, come center, and then inhale, let's even it out. Stretching one more time to the left, I'm sorry, to the right, feeling it on the left side body. Exhale, the hands down. Sit up nice and tall. Let's twist towards the right. You're going to reach the right fingertips behind you. Place the left hand on your thigh. And feel an awesome twisting motion in the spine. Nice and gentle. We're just warming up. Exhale, release. And then inhale. Let's switch to the opposite side. Keep the chest open. Deep breathing. And exhale, come center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, twist to the right. Gaze over the right shoulder. Big deep breath. Exhale, center. Inhale. Twist to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Lengthen the spine and then take your hands to the floor in front of you for a forward fold stretch. This feels so good in our back, into the hips. We're breathing deeply into the back and side rib cage. Inhale, walk the hands. Push yourself back up. Interlace the fingers and press the palms towards the sky. And then bring the shoulder blades down away from the ears. Exhale, bring the palms in front of you, in front of you pressing away rounding the shoulder blades towards the front of the body. Inhale, bring the arms up one more time. And then exhale, release the hands, bring them down by your side. Good. 
bend the right elbow, bring it up, and then use the left hand to grab that elbow for an awesome tricep stretch. Keep the head looking forward and the throat open. Exhale, release. Let's switch sides. So inhale, bend the left elbow, bring the hand to the upper back, and then that other hand is gonna grab the elbow and just help deepen that stretch into the tricep or the upper arm. We have a tendency to close the throat in this position, so try to keep it open and breathe. Exhale, release. Take the right arm straight across the body and use the left arm to deepen the shoulder stretch. So you should feel the front and side shoulder stretching and the back shoulder. Exhale, release, and then bring the left arm across the body. Use the right arm to pull it across and deepening the stretch. Exhale, release. You're gonna roll over onto tabletop position. If you have blocks, you can put them to the side. And then sit the seat back onto the heels for child's pose as we reach the arms out in front of us. Sometimes I use the block to support my forehead. And sometimes if I'm feeling flexible, I place my head right onto the mat. You're just gonna do what's appropriate for your body. Make sure you're breathing, expanding into the rib cage. A few more breaths. Inhale, you're going to come up to tabletop, and we're going to do some rounds of cat and cow. So inhale, drop the belly, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, and then exhale. Continue doing this a few rounds on your own. Just so make sure when you round the spine, really spread the shoulder blades apart from each other and feel a deep stretch in the upper back. And then exhale, curl the toes under. Let's take a downward facing dog. It's the first one of the day. You can start to pedal out the feet. Back of our legs probably feeling a little tight. We just want to make sure the spine stays straight. And then inhale, lift the right foot up to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward in between the hands for low lunge. If you reach that right, both arms up to the sky, you're gonna stretch that left hip flexor. And then you can bring the hands back down, placing them on blocks or the floor. Staying here for a few breaths. Relax the jaw and relax your shoulders. Continue to breathe. Inhale, pull the right hip back, straighten the leg, the toes peel off the floor. Exhale, inhale, lengthen the spine, heart forward. And then exhale, fold forward over that front leg or half splits, we're feeling a stretch in the back of the whole entire back leg that is straight.
try to avoid rounding the spine, curving forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step the knee back. Take a downward facing dog. Just a breath or two here before we inhale. Exhale. Just pedaling out the feet, warming up the legs. And then inhale, lift the left foot up to the sky. Exhale, step the left foot forward, drop the right knee to the floor. Reach the fingertips up to the sky. And then exhale, bring the hands down to blocks or the floor. You can even rest your hands right on top of the thigh. Just lengthen that spine, let the heart lead. And enjoy this hip opening stretch. Hips get really tight if we work at a desk job. We make sure we're taking care of our body regularly and keeping ourselves healthy. A few more breaths. Inhale, pull the left leg straight, half splits. Exhale, inhale, lengthen the heart forward, spine straight. Exhale, fold forward, stretching the left back leg. We want to make sure we feel the stretch in the leg and the hamstring and not too high on our, our sit bone where the hamstring attaches. So just be mindful of that. Continue to breathe. Inhale, bend the knee, and then exhale, step that left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto the balls of the feet, and then exhale, press the heels back down. You can repeat this a few times as an option. And then inhale, step the feet forward into a half lift with or without your blocks. You can just place your hands right on your shins if you need to. Lengthen the spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold forward, bringing the belly towards the thighs and the top of the head towards the floor. And then inhale, bend the knees, sit the seat back and rise, keeping the spine straight, arms up. Exhale, bring the hands right down by your side. Inhale, take the hands to the waist, lift the chest up to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward. Option to grab the big toe with your peace fingers. Inhale, lengthen the spine, heart forward. Exhale, fold forward. So we're water falling off the top of our hips, top of the head towards the floor. And over time, we start to straighten the legs as long as we're not feeling any additional tension in the lower back. Continue to breathe and engage the bandhas. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the waist, and then inhale, rise. Triangle pose, step the right foot back. Feel free to grab your block if you need to. Take the feet about three, three and a half feet apart. The right toes turn out 90 degrees. That left heel pops out. Lengthen the torso. Place your hand on the block or your shin and then reach that left arm up to the sky, opening the chest. Great for building strength in the hips and hamstrings, entire leg and our core. Continue to breathe. We're gonna transi transition into half moon by bringing the left hand down, bending that right knee, 
heel toeing the left foot and then lifting that left foot up to the sky to float as we balance on our right leg. If this is too challenging for you, keep your chest facing the floor and practice that way. Over time, you're gonna rotate the chest towards the wall. Have your hand on the block or floor. It's optional to float that right hand. Just an added challenge. Bring the hand back to the block and then exhale. Take the left foot back. Parallel your feet to the long edge of the mat, hands on the waist. Take a big inhale and then exhale, hinge forward. Let the top of the head go towards the floor for a forward fold. The elbows are pointing up to the sky, which keeps our chest open. Our legs are strong, active and engaged. Continue to breathe. Inhale, rise. Exhale, let's turn the left toes out for triangle pose on the left side. Reach the left arm long, lengthen the torso, place it onto a block or your leg as you reach the right fingertips up to the sky, opening the chest. Imagine you are doing this against the wall, so you want the upper back to be lined up with the wall and not pulling in front of you. Continue to breathe. You can also bend that left knee to make it a little bit easier. Setting up to transition to half moon. So bring that right hand down, bend the left knee. Use the right toe to heel toe yourself forward and then float that back right leg up. Keep the chest either towards the floor or rotate it towards the wall to make it a little bit more challenging. Optional to float the hand. Exhale, you can bring the hand back to the block and let the right foot come back to the mat. Turn towards the long edge of the mat with your feet parallel. And clasp the hands behind you. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward, bringing the top of the head towards the floor as your hands lift off your back. A great modification is to slightly bend the knees if it's a little challenging for you. Continue to breathe. Inhale, slowly rise. Exhale, release the hands and heel toe the feet together. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, bring the arms above your head and grab your left wrist with your right hand. Exhale, take the hand over to the right for a side bend, stretching the left side body. Continue to breathe into that left rib cage. Inhale, come center, switch hands, and exhale, bend to the left, breathing into the right side body. Keep the chest open and the throat open. Inhale, come center, and take a slight back bend with your hands together. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor or blocks, head relaxes. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, step the feet back, and lower down chaturanga. Inhale, pull the heart through, low cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale to downward facing dog.
inhale the right foot up to the sky exhale step the right foot forward and drop the left knee inhale reach the arms up to the sky lifting out of the waist and then twist to the right opening the chest inhale come center exhale twist to the right opening the arms inhale center exhale bring the arms out to a twist for the last time and then exhale bring the hands down step the right leg back downward facing dog inhale the left foot to the sky exhale step the left foot through and drop the right knee inhale reach the arms up lifting out of the waist and then exhale twist to the left opening the arms we'll repeat that three times inhale bring the arms up in center exhale bring the hands back down and step the right foot forward to meet the left bend the knees bring the arms up for chair pose continue to pull the lower belly in bring the shoulder blades back down into the body away from the ears exhale bring the belly to the thighs hands to the floor inhale half lift gaze forward exhale fold inhale half lift exhale fold half lift inhale and exhale fold one more time one more time half lift hands to the shins we're holding for five breaths lengthen the top of the head away from the tailbone and pull in the belly we want our spine perfectly straight as we gaze to the floor bring the arms out in front of you bend the knees and rise up exhale bring the hands down to your side inhale step the right foot back turn the right toes out about 45 degrees hips facing forward inhale reach the arms up and exhale fold forward hands can come to the blocks or the floor we want the hips squared towards the short edge of the mat do you feel a deep stretch in the back of the legs continue to breathe inhale rise exhale step the right foot forward bring the arms down inhale step the left foot back turn the toes out about 45 degrees front leg 90 degrees hips squared reach the arms straight up on the inhale exhale slowly fold forward over the front leg hands coming to either floor blocks you can place them on your um, gently onto the leg whatever is available for you today if you need to bend that front knee to make it a little bit easier that is a great modification inhale rise bring the arms overhead and exhale step the feet forward hands down by your side you can stay where you are or turn towards the long edge of the mat bend the right knee and catch it right at the shin for a balancing pose we're standing on our left leg and you can take the left hand onto the waist or your hip keep the posture straight as you continue to breathe Really activate that inner seam of the leg good exhale bring the foot down and then inhale switch legs left leg comes up we grab the knee we lift the chest stand up straight
try to focus on something not moving to help center you when you balance. Exhale, bring the leg down. We're going to come back down to the floor. We're going to take the legs wide. Feel free to grab your blocks at this point if you need to. You're going to take the, the legs wide, not your widest. You're going to flex the legs, squeeze the thighs, sit up really tall. Feel free if it's a struggle for you to sit up tall to place your hands behind you on the floor or on blocks. Also, you can bend the knees if that makes it easier for you. Over time, it'll be easier to sit up straight as our back gets stronger. Exhale, release, and then inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. You can just reach the arms alongside of the floor, or if you notice, I'm grabbing a block to rest my forehead on. A couple variations for you. Do what's comfortable and what's available for you with props. Keep the legs engaged, active thighs. Continue to breathe. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Bend the knees and bring the soles of the feet together. You can either hold the feet or you can bring the arms overhead, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, fold forward, walking the fingers away from the body to help lengthen the spine. Either one is fine. I just really want you to think about lengthening the spine instead of curving forward in this forward bend, and you'll feel a Pretty deep stretch in the inside of the thighs, possibly the outside, hips, depending how tight you are. Inhale, walk the hands back, lift the chest. And we're gonna set up for fire logs. If this is difficult for you to stack the shins on top of each other parallel, you can take simple cross-legged position with your ankles crossed. If you are more flexible in the hips like me, we're gonna bend both knees and just stack the shins. Lift the heart and bend forward to deepen that stretch in the top outer hip of the top leg. Continue to breathe deeply into the back and sides of the rib cage. Inhale, lift back up. And let's switch sides. So now I'm taking the right leg on top. Just to kind of flex my feet here. As long as you're not feeling anything in the knees, you can continue to fold forward. And when we're stretching the hip, we want to make sure we don't feel any type of stress into the knee joint. If you feel that, just back out to a comfortable position. And over time, the body will open up. Inhale, lift the chest and head. Now we're going to take one leg out. So we're going to take the left leg out, right foot bends, sole of the foot on the inside of the thigh as we fold forward. Maybe you grab your foot, maybe you bend the knee, or maybe you just grab anywhere you can, as long as you're feeling a nice stretch in the back of the hamstring without feeling too much into the lower back. We don't want to feel 
a lot of pain. We don't want to feel any pain, uh, but make sure we are lengthening the lower back as we fold forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Let's switch sides. The right leg straightens. Then the left knee, left sole of the foot, the inside right thigh. Lengthen forward on the inhale and exhale, fold forward, bringing the chest towards your knee. Try to imagine your heart is shining forward towards the foot instead of towards your thigh. Continue to breathe. Inhale, lift the head and exhale, release the foot. If you have blocks, you can move them onto the side. We're going to lay on our back. We're going to bring the knees into the chest. You can take them a little bit wider for happy baby. I like to take my knees more towards the armpit instead of directly into the chest. If you have lower back pain, I would try to avoid double knee to chest on your on your back. If you don't have back pain, I would just be a little bit conservative with that pose. Maybe, like I said, take your knees a little wider. Good. Exhale, release. And take the arms alongside the body. Palms are facing up as we settle into Savasana. Begin to close your eyes. Relax the jaw. Feel the back of the body melting into the mat. Our breath starts to go back to the natural pace and rhythm. So we take some quiet time to appreciate our body and appreciate the effects of our practice today. Thank you for joining me today in this practice. I hope you're feeling great like I am. Have an awesome day, and until next time, namaste.